So I ordered this Shinco portable air conditioner. It is 12,000 BTU. A couple things about it. It also says it's a three in one. So it's an air conditioner, it's a dehumidifier, and it's just a fan if you just want the fan running. Here's some things on the top here. It says you wanna leave it in the upright position for at least 24 hours before you plug it in. Uh, only store it upright. It's got a bottom, blah, blah, blah. All right, so here it is, all out of its packaging. So basically over here to the right, you've got the vent hose. You've got the adapter that goes where the window would shut and it lets the hot air vent out of your house. You've got a roll of insulation that goes around that so to seal better around the window. You've got this hose to the left here that's a drain hose for again the humidity I was talking about that collects in the unit. Then you also have the manual, a remote that comes with a set of batteries and an extra screw that I don't know exactly what that goes to yet but I'm sure I'll find out. And this is the unit from the front, the unit from the side, here is the back. I wrapped the extension cord around the back of it there, and it also has wheels. So, rolls are pretty easy. So those got wheels on the bottom already, you don't have to install anything, it's already done. This has a little lock on it, so that when you push this out, this actually locks this insert in place. I'm gonna come back and put the insulation on it later, but for now I'm just trying to make sure it gets hooked up well. So I figured I'd find out what that little screw in the bag was for, and now I know when you push this in, it doesn't actually snap in to that opening. It moves left or right a little bit. So what you do is you move it to the left, and then you put that screw in right here, which goes into part of that opening in the back and it locks this in place so that this can't move left or right and come back out. So now I'm gonna get this side here hooked up to the back of this vent. Again, it shows you you just slide it in and lock it. And that's pretty much it, plugging it in and then turning it on. So I'm gonna get this hooked up and show you it. Here's the unit uh, to start off. I mean, it just has 77 degrees on there, but it's not turned on. I think that's actually what the temperature is right now in his room, so. As you can see, 77 is, is too hot. We usually keep the house at 72. Turn it on. The vents open up. And it will kick on in just a second. Wow. 12,000 BTU is a good size AC unit. It can still run off of a standard 110 20 amp outlet or 15 amp outlet so that's what we have it on in here but we did see the lights dim a little bit when this thing came on but man that air is already nice and cold and like i said basically the air coming out of here is going to get cold and the air going out that pipe right there is going to be hot so this the longer this runs the hotter this pipe is going to get now it shouldn't get too crazy hot and melt or nothing like that but it's going to get hot and this is going to send out all of your heat your exhaust vent and wow that is some nice cold air coming out of that it's so refreshing actually just standing in front of this so and here's the different settings cool fan and dry that's the dehumidifier it's got a timer mode speed you can adjust the swing everything on it it does have filters and so forth that you need to clean so read the manual so you know what you need to take care of. Also, make sure you're draining the water that builds up in this unit. Like I said, I believe I read in there that it does supposed to expel the water that it collects out the exhaust vent, but it's only gonna be able to do so much. It's only gonna be able to miss that out the exhaust enough. If you have very humid air, you're still probably gonna get more accumulation in there then this thing can expel out your window. So if you have that, keep an eye on the water level and make sure you dump that uh, appropriately. There is a hose that's included that allows you to drain that into a bucket. So if you're unsure about this or worried about that, maybe start off by having a bucket on the floor with that hose going into it and just see how much water it collects. Here's a quick shot of the remote and the different functions that are on the remote. It does come with batteries to use this, so we're going to put batteries in it and use this. This is probably going to be pretty useful. Thank you all for watching. Y'all be safe out there.